Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We're looking at the 22nd to the 28th of January 2024. So what do we have for our lovely Leos? Well, that's lovely. We've got Cornucopia, number 11. 11 is a master number. It is linked with manifestation, so do look that up. Uh, but Cornucopia is wishes fulfilled. You can see that kind of dreaminess. This is dreams made real. The dreaminess in the card. It's very bountiful energy. Let's pull you... An Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Our lovely Leos. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. We have number 24. Prioritize self-care. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. All right, Leo. That's your Archangel Michael card. Let's see what we have for you for the week. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Energies for the week to come for our lovely Leos. Thank you. 22nd to the 28th of January, 2024. We have Queen of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. You could be manifesting as a Queen of Cups, heart-centered, in touch with your emotions and feelings, highly intuitive. We have the Seven of Wands, the Hierophant, Page of Swords, the Emperor. We have the Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Swords. Let's pull a card for this Queen of Cups. What do we have for the Queen of Cups? For Leo, thank you. We have the Queen of Swords. Heart and Mind. One more card with that, thank you. The sun, I love seeing this for you. This is your planet. The sun, you know, is connected to Leo. It generally represents light after dark, happiness after, you know, sad success after challenge you know it's that kind of energy uh the sun is always good news celebration joy happiness abundance success but there's a defensive energy going on here the seven of wands the emperor standing your ground and defending something here I feel that what you're defending is it could be to do with this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. I feel this is likely the same person. Again, this could also be you, you connecting to your heart and mind. Um, you know, maybe dealing with intuitive energy or matters of the heart 
but also having adopting the kind of like clarity and focus and independent reason, thought and logic or truth of the Queen of Swords energy to kind of see your way through a situation here. Either way, it feels like you're going to get your wish here. I mean, this is the energy here. Prioritize self-care. You could be defending yourself with an emperor. Again, an emperor can be a key decision maker, can be very positive in terms of business, career, financial areas, or, you know, the emperor is generally a key, the, the final decision maker. So uh, somebody who would own a company or be extremely influential or making the final decision, certainly as part of a company, representative or owner, will be a CEO, MD, or again, somebody who's highly influential. For others of you, I mean, it, this can be a judge. If this is your energy and you're adopting the Emperor energy, it's about taking control of a situation and defending what's important to you and having faith that victory is going to be yours. It looks like it will be. You're going to get your wish and that's what you're being told. Though I feel this is going to be some kind of uh, process that you're going through because it feels like you feel like you're heading in the right direction this week. But I think there's still, you know, more to persevere on. But it feels like things you're heading towards success. And that's what spirit is telling you. So let's see what you're defending. Defending, standing your ground, not backing down. Because you feel you need to. The High Priestess, instinctive energy, intuitive energy. I feel that you, this is instinctively, I know, I know I need to. It's time to step up and stand my ground. Seven of Wands. Let's pull one more card. Well, actually, let's pull a card for the Hierophant. What are you having faith on? Having faith, hoping, being watched over as well with the higher Hierophant, higher powers at work. What are you having faith on with this? Maybe with this Emperor? You're hoping, that, oh, you're hoping that the Emperor, <laughs> the Emperor is going to give you your wish. Well, it looks like the Emperor is very favorable for you. My goodness, this person is extremely favorable for you. The emperor, I feel this is a person. Uh, spirit is telling you, likely spirit is working through this person to bring you your wish coming true. I mean, we've got two wish fulfillment cards here. The nine of cups is wish fulfillment, getting what you want. Those cups overflowing with, you know, happiness, joy, celebration, abundance, you know, all of this kind of energy. I feel it's almost like the spirit telling you, don't worry, you're absolutely on track for success here. You're absolutely on track for a significant achievement. The six of wands is very good in terms of, I mean, it is actually Leo energy as well. The six of wands is, is recognizing, you know, our own power to overcome difficulty, issues, claim victory, success, claim a significant achievement, could be in business career, could be, you know, some kind of official process that you're going through, potentially, you know, legal or arbitration or union or, again, there could be some kind of independent decision maker here as a result of what you're going through. The main crux of this is um, Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. This is almost kind of like finding some kind of truth or discovering something or or astutely knowing that or getting more knowledge uh, again the five of pentacles is a card of lack like this what what's driving this is is not giving you what you deserve i mean this is what i'm feeling here someone's not giving you what you deserve 
But it looks like finally you feel like you're heading in the right direction here. Uh, five of Pentacles is financial lack, not having enough, or well, not being given enough. Could be some kind of payout for others of you. It could well be getting some kind of victory triumph or maybe getting some kind of, you know, job potentially or heading towards that as part of a process if you discovered that again there's changes in employment here or maybe your current business isn't working out you know um it just feels like there's some kind of victory over this kind of lack energy not having enough not getting enough or again news or learning that again you, there is is changes are happening that are going to make you feel like again there's just this feeling here you you're absolutely going to get your wish here you're absolutely on track so the six of swords is is the worst is behind you and you're moving towards better times it can actually be that kind of transitional process of moving from what was to what will be you're heading in the right direction so let's see what you're heading for what is uh what is that six of swords heading for if can know if spirit will tell us what is leo heading for thank you what is leo heading for here six of swords we have the hierophant the nine of swords and the three of pentacles there's a recognition that you're going to worry about this again the nine of swords represents stress worry anxiety but it, i feel this is almost over with the hierophant have faith it looks with the three of pentacles three of pentacles can be about uh compromise negotiations that would be in some kind of uh financial scenario if you felt like you weren't given enough or getting enough there may well be some kind of uh, significant compromise or negotiation process to come here where you're going to get what you want. You know, somebody might be brought to the table to give more in that respect. For others of you, a three of pentacles can be very positive in terms of joining a team or a new collaboration, or again, can be a new initiative, project, collaboration, joining a new work team. This is the energy. And it looks like with the sun, everything will become clear to you. <laughs> the sun just feels like... Good news, celebration, joy, happiness. Again, this Queen of Cups and uh, Queen of Swords, again, this could be somebody who is just supporting you through this or involved in this situation here. For others of you, it could well be the energy that you're adopting. And approaching and balance with the heart and mind, you know. It feels like this is a, a stressful situation that you're going through, but Spirit telling you, don't worry, have faith. Again, two cards of the Hierophant, have faith. It feels like there is going to be some kind of uh, agreed way forward here, I want to say. A uh, very positive agreed way forward. The sun, it's always a reason why I say, here comes the sun or the sun shines. And I really don't change that as a headline because it just says it all in a reading. It represents that sense of, light after dark you know happiness after sadness you know victory over challenge just a feeling that you're coming you're stepping into the light again you know uh, it's a new day there is new abundance there's happiness joy and celebration to be had prioritize self-care take care of yourself especially through this kind of stressful time the additional message with the nine of swords as well it can be where you've gone through a stressful time uh, maybe it can also be, you know, if this was an issue because you had stress at work um, or had an experience that was um, stressful in some way to the point where there needed to be some kind of negotiation, you know, as you move from A to B, you know, this kind of energy. This feels, again, it could well be that kind of scenario where there is some kind of compromise and negotiation in terms of what you're going to get. But either, <laughs> either way, Leo, I mean, the cards are really lovely. This emperor is very favorable for you. This emperor is absolutely. It can also be people like, you know, a CEO or MD or someone in authority sorting it out for you. Like I said, judge, arbitration, union official, um, 
or key decision maker of some kind can also be a, a significant family member you know patriarch if it was a female it would be a, you know a matriarch um but the cornucopia you're going to get what you want you're going to get your wish so don't worry keep on doing what you're doing you're absolutely on track and it looks like this week you're heading in the right direction interesting interesting energy i want to pull an extra card for the sun well actually no let's pull a card for that cornucopia card what do we have for leo what is that cornucopia card for leo thank you the world <laughs> the world victory triumph success successful outcomes goal achievement celebration this is the energy it can mark the completion of a, a cycle here so whatever you're going through, again, the Six of Swords saying that you're heading towards this, but Spirit is telling you what you're heading towards is, yes, it's the completion of whatever this scenario is, where you can step through to a brand new phase of your life. But this whole kind of like scenario is ending in victory, triumph, success for you, which again is that Six of Wands energy, but the world is so much more bigger than that. It is worldly success, victory, triumph, celebration. It completes. And you step through to a brand new phase of your life here. This is lovely. All right, Leo, I am going to pull you an extra little card for the week. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. What do we have for Leo? Thank you, Angel Spirits, Guides, message for Leo. We have number 14, Friendship. Bring to me friendship true, sharing laughter and underst understanding too. You might be finding out who your friends are in this process too. Okay, what do we have as a final message for Leo? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. Yeah. New beginnings. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. There is a new beginning here by the virtue of, of again, there is a new day with the sun and we have completion with the world. Um, but a successful outcome here, successful completion. We have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. I mean, this is such a lovely reading, though I understand it's not an easy one. But this is ending very, very well for you. A strong energy of your being. I mean, two hierophant energies. Spirit is at work through this. Uh, even with the high priestess energy here, you know, strong energy of spirits working through the people and the uh, people involved in this to bring you and likely this emperor in particular uh, to bring you what you need and it looks like you're going to get your wish uh, you're going to get what you want you know there is celebration here to be had that's what i have for you uh, that's what i have for you leo i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful week i will see you next time